Joe. And I've got our plan. We're going to be installing some uh, PVC pipe for the waistline and the vent line on that ABS stack. What's the first piece of pipe that we cut? Well, the first thing I want to do is cut my waistline here. And I'm going to have that work for me, so uh, I'm actually going to cut it longer than I need. So why don't you hold that down on that center line right there, OK? And it looks like we need about a 54-inch piece. So why don't you just take it down the end of the pipe there and mark that. 54? Right there, yep. OK. Now we'll just cut that. Well, what kind of a cutter is that? Well, this is an L50 cutter. Uh, cuts up to two inch PVC and ABS pipe. Um, it's a great tool to have. It keeps all your cuts straight, neat, no burrs. So it's a perfect tool for cutting plastic. Any special techniques for using it? Uh, just to keep your pipe uh, warm and dry. Great. So I'll show you how it works. Okay. I'm just going to take it in slow because it just kind of cuts under friction and it uh, goes through real nicely. There we go. So there's our cut. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. Now, if you want to just slide that into that hole, now when you get down here, it, I'm just going to have to grab it and you're going to have to probably push it a little bit. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Man, I didn't realize you could bend this stuff. Well, that's the beauty of the plastic. It gives us a little benefit here and this is actually going to help us out because it's going to support it for us. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have you put a J-hook on that end. Okay. And I'll okay. put mine over here. And at that point, we can just center this in the hole here. And if you would, I'll just hold it in place for you, and you can tack it on your end. Okay. We just want to tack it at this time. Okay. So if we have to make an adjustment, we can. Does that look good? Yep, looks great. I'm going to do the same thing on my end here. We have to get this up. OK. You got it where you want it there? Yeah, it's got it. OK. OK. Now, we might as well just check it here once to the level, just to see where we're at. And it looks like we got a quarter bubble there. We're in good shape. Perfect. So, we might as well just drive these home and, okay. and go on to the next step. Now what we want to do is we want to fit this T in here. And I've already got these cut. So I'm going to just dry run these here and just to see where we're at. So I'm going to just fit these in here, make sure they're tight. So everything's in there nice and solid. So you've got a sanitary T and two stubs of three-inch PVC going to ABS. Right. Now, this is how we're going to make the transition. Um, I'm going to join these with these mission couplings. These are the are especially designed for these. These are special sizes. This is going to go from three-inch plastic to three-inch plastic. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, I want to make sure that these are in, in the right position. So I'm going to glue these together. And then we can uh, scribe in our pipe and make our cut. OK, Joe, so we're going to. Uh, clean and solvent weld these uh, joints. This stuff is uh, highly flammable and uh, it's stained, so it's good you're putting on safety gear, gloves, and glasses. We also protected the floor. Don't really need it here, but if you're working in a house, you'd probably do that. This stuff is messy. Notice that uh, Joe's going to hold that with it facing down so it doesn't drip all over the pipe. I've seen Joe do a lot of plumbing. He's a pretty neat plumber. Okay. That cleaner is actually not only cleaning the pipe, but it's also softening the surface so that when you put the cement on it, it will actually weld the two pieces of plastic into one. Now those are the two ends that are going to be connected to the sanitary T. Joe will clean the inside of that. You really don't want this stuff to be very wet before you uh, start to apply your cement, so Joe lets it dry out a little bit. Pretty good at controlling the drip there, Joe. Well, we'd like to keep it neat so it looks decent when we're done here. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this right together here. 
if I can get a hold of this here. It's actually a pretty great technique that Joe uses. He actually holds both fittings in one hand, keeps them pointed down so he doesn't have drips going all over the fittings. And he can put them together. Most important thing here is to insert it and do a quarter turn. That quarter turn is real important. So it takes any air bubbles out of the fitting. Sometimes you actually have to twist it as you're turning it in. That's a good one. Great. One of the nice things about uh, ABS is that you don't have to use one, this cleaner. So you don't have to deal with the fumes and so forth. Um, with ABS, you just cement it together. Well, it's one step, so it makes it, makes it a little bit easier for you. So um, I just prefer to use PVC, but ABS is one step, so. Well, we have a situation over here where we had no choice. We started with ABS. That's probably ready to, to move now. Okay. Why don't we move that into position? Okay. What I'm going to do next here, I'm just going to fit this to where we want it. We're going to go to these mission couplings right here. And inside, there's a little ridge there. And so when I go to the, the, the coupling, I'm going to have to leave just a little space between uh, here where the, the fitting is and the pipe. So I'm going to cut this just a little long. So I'm going to do that on both sides. So I'm going to bring this into position here. Check it there. It's tight against the pipe now. So I'm going to scribe at this point and this point. And what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to take my saw. If you want to just steady that, Tom. Sure. And I'm just going to just put a mark in here just to, to mark my pipe. OK. And that's not actually where I'm going to cut it. All that's doing is just putting me in line here. OK. Now we can just pull that back. I'm going to take this off just to get it out of our way. I'm going to push the shelf this other stuff right out of the way here a little bit so we got a little room. This is just a little trick here. I'm going to show you. Now this this pipe uh, has to be cut really straight. Well, yeah, that's that's kind of a difficult part here because one of the things we want to do, we have to cut it straight, uh, and if we get out of line here, our our fitting that we're doing here is not going to work. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this as a guide. Just a piece of vinyl flooring. That's all it is. I just cut it. I just pre-cut this before. Okay. And I'm going to. That's our cut mark right there, and I'm going to go up about 3 sixteenths above it. Okay. All I'm going to do is just take my pencil, I'm going to go around that to give myself a mark to follow as I'm cutting through the pipe. Now this pencil is going to be a little hard to see, but it'll give me a guide as I'm sawing. <laughs> There. Now at that point we've got a cut. Up here I've got burrs in here. And I just want to check to make sure they're gone. And if I feel that I've got a lot of burrs in here, I could just take a utility knife and just run around the inside edge here and uh, remove them if I felt I was necessary. Okay. Just not ready to slip this on. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Go ahead, Tom Slider in position. Pretty good. Looks like we're, Looks like we're there. Nice and snug. So we got uh, for the shoulder and our mission coupling there. We've got room for that. There's just a little bit. So when we're done, we're going to have a nice tight joint there. OK, we actually going to install this right now? Yeah, that's our next step, basically. We could set this in place. OK. Uh, once we get it in place, uh, then we can go back and glue this. I'm going to start with that, just set the band under that. And what's the trick to getting those on? Well, once you get them on, you want to just roll them over. And you'll see the shoulder up in there. And I'm going to actually have to roll that back. So I'm actually bringing that shoulder back a little bit. 
because I don't have much clearance to get in here. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. You don't use any lubricant on that or anything? No, normally on this you won't have to. Uh, on cast iron I might uh, use a, a lubricant, but on here, if my pipe's nice and clean, okay. uh, I should be in good shape here. Okay. So now I'm going to set this band up in there. Let me hold that for you. Okay, thank you. And then we'll just slide this in here. Okay. I think we're lined up there. Just flip that back, just roll it down, and that shoulder should be sitting in the center of the joint there. And we'll do the same thing to this one. Just hold that up there again. Okay, now we're spliced in. Now before I do anything else, I'm just going to check this, make sure that this comes into position. It lines up nicely, so I'm going to pull it in so it's nice and square. I don't need to glue this right now. Okay. Next step, I'm, all I'm going to do is just tighten down my bands. So I've checked to make sure they're in place. Okay. That feels good. Got my nut driver right here that works for this. Now, first of all, I'm just going to just snug these down. I'm not going to. I'm going to get them in position. Make sure the band even on it. Do that on the bottom side here. It looks like maybe I have the shoulder out of this one just a little bit. Okay. I've seen some bands like this that don't have a continuous stainless steel band around it. Well, the main thing you need here is you need to use a mission band that's literally sized for the pipes and that's the important part here. And then you need a full band like this uh, with the two clamps on it and that's uh, what you need to re uh, what's required for code. Okay. So whether this was a cast iron stack initially or ABS like this, whenever you're going to dissimilar materials even if it was galvanized pipe to plastic pipe, you could use this type of a, Absolutely. Of a connection. We and would use the same identical fitting here, uh, other than the right size for it. And it won't leak, right? Absolutely not. They're, they're good solid fittings. Okay, looks like we're in good shape. I'm just, uh, just going to bring them down so they're, uh, I've got good tension on them, but I don't want to over tighten it and stress anything. And at that point, we're, I think we're set. Looks good. Well, I guess now we need to uh, install some more PVC. Well, then our, our next step is that we can glue this in, and then at that point we can move down to our end and cut our vent in, and okay. then we can bring our vent in and tie that in. So you want to glue this before we cut this pipe for the other T? Right. Uh, especially with uh, the aid of my uh, uh, L50 cutter, uh, I can cut this right in place here. Great. Okay, I've already decided where my vent's going to go, and I've cut the pipe right now. So the next step is I'm going to put this fitting on here, and I'm going to get it set up so I can pick up my vent up here. So one of the main things I have to be concerned about is when my fitting comes into position that it's, it's actually going to be plumb here, actually level. So at that point, that's what I'm going to do. But to make this a little easier for me, there's, there's little marks that are right on, the, right on the fitting right there. So when I've got it in position, and I've got it level here, okay, I'm going to just take my pencil here and I'm going to line it up with that. And I'm going to make it a little longer so when I clean the pipe that if I take a little off I still can see that mark. So now at this time all I got to do is uh, I got to clean my pipe, clean my fitting, and I can bring it into position and line it up, and I should be ready to go.
Going to use my level here and I'm just going to bring it in to my quarter bubble and I'll be set. Okay, I'm just going to cap this here so we don't have any sewer gas coming into our living space. Hey Joe, looks great. Thanks. You know, I noticed when you were welding some of these joints that the glue set up pretty fast. Yeah, actually it was working really fast today. Uh, the temperature and the humidity uh, affects it. Uh, also, uh, the age of your glue can affect it quite a bit. So, uh, one thing I'd recommend is you start out with a fresh can of glue. Good idea. You know, I noticed now that this uh, riser for the vent line is, uh, is very uh, close to the tub as well. Well, we have uh, codes that address this issue here. This waistline can only be uh, 42 inches here. Uh, that's, that's what our code reads here. You'd have to check with your local codes, but the distance between the vent and where the arm terminates here can be a maximum of 42. So the closer you get it, the better. Yeah, it actually it'll probably, uh, you know, if it's out to the 42, it'll still work, but uh, in this case, I just like to keep them as close as I can. Sure. Well, we've got the waistline done. We've got the vent line done. I guess it's time to move on to the copper. Yep, that's the next thing to do.